passive income. It's a super hot topic that everybody wants a little piece of. And of course, you should, because who doesn't want to make a little bit of extra money on the side while not actively having to work for it? I certainly do. So I started two years ago with a couple simple steps and I'm going over all these steps in this video. Also, we're talking about how much money I made in this year, 2021, on Artgrid. And I'm also going to leave you with a little bit of extra knowledge after watching this video, because we're going over five tips, how you can get started in stock footage and how you can get better at selling stock footage. So stick around and let's get going. Two years ago, I started my passive income journey. And if you follow the channel for a while, you know that I was pretty on top of this game back in the day. But I kind of pushed it aside because it didn't really work out and Artgrid only lets you know how, how much you made at the end of the year which is kind of nice because it comes as kind of a present, basically. You know, your December present, your 13th month, basically. So anyway, I started out on Blackbox, which is a service that you can upload your footage to and it distributes it to Shutterstock and all these big old school stock websites. And then later I started to contribute on Artgrid as well. I made a video last year stated that I made $970, which was to me a lot of money because it came again as a surprise. This year, however, things changed a little bit. I uploaded a lot more footage and way better footage, of course, because also I grew as a filmmaker and I went out a lot more. So I did a lot more stuff in 2021, partly because COVID allowed us to, in Holland at least. So how much did I actually make? Well, da -da -da, I made in the year of 2021, $4,786. Whoa. Yes, this is of course, if you divide it through all the downloads that these clips had, I think about 50 cents or 30 cents per download. And some of you I know don't agree with this, but that's fine. I personally think that things are always changing. Things are always developing and you can either jump on the train and hop along and ride along or you can stay behind. And I chose to hop on this train, hop on this revolutionary way of stock footage and I am making money with it. $4,000 is a lot of money and it's amazing to be able to make this while not actively having to work for it. The only times I do work for it is while, for example, exporting or grading or, you know, organizing these clips in DaVinci Resolve and in my computer. And of course, the uploading process through my FTP uh, FileZilla program. But this all runs in the background. So it's not necessarily that I really work for it for like 10 hours straight. Of course, I need to shoot the footage, but I'm also doing this for my YouTube channel. So it doesn't feel like I do this for ArcGrid only. So that is great. Enough about the money and Arcrit. Let's talk about the five tips so you can also get started selling stock footage in 2022. The first one is, and this is probably the most important one, don't wait until you have expensive gear. You can already start selling stock footage that is shot with your phone. For example, on Blackbox, they don't really care if it is 8K or 12K, but if it is worth uploading if it tells a story if it is something that happens in the news or something like that you can already sell stock footage that way on art grid and film supply for example it's a little different because they want really high quality footage so yes you need at least a 4k camera to get started on those platforms tip number two go shoot something that you're passionate about i for example am passionate about filmmaking in the outdoors such as mountains wildlife you name it if I go into a studio and I shoot tabletop only, and that is something that I want to upload on Artgrid, for example, it is never going to be as good as something that I really love doing. So I cannot stress this enough. Go out there and shoot something that you truly love and you will notice that the footage that you get back home with is a lot better than if you do something that you're mildly interested about. Tip number three, try to create a broad portfolio. 
This is kind of on the contrary of what I said in tip number two. But if you want to impress, for example, the people at ArtGrid and you only get there with one topic such as tabletop and you are okay, but not exceptionally good, then they will probably not accept you. So if you get there with tabletop that is moderately good, but also great shots of mountains, of time lapses, of wildlife, of all these things, they can fit that footage into their platform a lot better because more people will be interested in that. So make sure to try and get as much of your passions combined into your uh, stock footage portfolio. Tip number four, if you really want to up your sales in the stock footage game, make sure to know what's going on in the world. For example, stuff about COVID-19 will always sell, but also stuff about climate change. Make time lapses of pollution, of like industrial areas or plastic floating around in the water. These clips are always in high demand because right now the whole world is going for that climate goal. Another tip is to go on artgrid.io and check the most downloaded clips. See what they do and try to either do kind of the same or be one step ahead and be revolutionary. That way, sell a lot of clips. Number five, go out and practice. You're never going to be a top football player if you don't go onto the field. You need to get that experience. So go out there and start shooting time lapses. Go out there and start shooting wildlife. Doesn't matter what you do, as long as you spend the time with your camera, that's the only way to get better at what you're doing. That's it. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully the money that I earned plus these five tips motivates you to actually go for it in 2022. The start of this year can be the start for your passive income journey. And why wait until 2024? Just start doing it now. Let me know if you have any questions regarding this topic in the comments below and please make sure to let me know also if you made it this far. Hmm. Let me know your biggest fear. What is your biggest fear? Let me know in the comments below. Mine is drowning. That's a very sad way to end this video. Goodbye.